Just Drinking presents the, 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 the Mount Gay Eclipse. Oh yeah, baby. Mount Gay Eclipse. And I'm going to tell you guys, we have never actually had Mount Gay rum before we got any of this. No. We have tons of fun facts about Mount Gay oh, that yeah. we're really excited to get off our chest. But first, Roy Ayer's shirt. Look, he, Check it out. he's got a nice uh -huh. new shirt. That's what I do. I drink <laughs> rum and he knows things. I do. That's pretty much Roy Ayer. And me... It just says, let's get blitz blitzened. <laughs> let's get blitzened. That makes that makes sense. I feel like these are very fitting. There you go. Shirt game stepping up over We're here. We're trying for to keep you. up. We really are. We just really love you. <laughs> okay, this is taking a weird turn. Let's reel this thing back in. All get right. back on track. Yeah. Ah, all right, so here we go. Mount Gay Rum. So this is a Barbados rum, and it's actually named... Uh, Counter, counter to the name here that I really thought it was a mountain. It's actually named after Mr. Sir John Gay Eileen. Eileen. Right? Am I saying a, it? A, a Lane. A Lane. A Lane. The A Lane. John Gay A Lane, which he was a very, very popular guy in the 1700s. Very well known for being persuasive, yep. political guy. Pretty smart, pretty awesome. Uh, so much so that they named this whole company after him, which is Absolutely. pretty a awesome. After his death in 1801. At when we know when he died. That's just how smart <laughs> we are. You're welcome. Uh, water uh, and pure coral filtered. That's really cool. Now, the way it's distilled. Yeah, that's the how, distilling that, that's process. how they filter it. Which is super weird. With like coral. natural and, coral. That's awesome. I've that, never really I, heard of that before. I've never heard of that either. It's going to taste like the ocean. <laughs> it's like Moana in a bottle. There you go. Uh, 40%, 80 proof, and uh, we're going to try it. It's got like a spice kick kind of off the top of the smell. I'm feeling like this one's going to punch me right in the throat. So it does have a little bit of spice to it. It smells spicy. Uh, we'll just see how this goes down. I'm interested. Let's just do it. Okay. Punch me right in the throat. Here we go. Okay. It's got, it's got a good amount of spice to it's it. It's got a little kick to it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it smelled spicier than it actually went down. Yeah. It almost seems like it's like a pepper spice. You know what mm. I mean? Like, it kind of goes towards more of like a seasoning spice kind of thing that I'm feeling. Yeah, I would say definitely a seasoning. It's like a seasoning spice, not so much of like what you typically have in a rum. Now, I know that they actually do uh, put this in oak barrels, but I didn't really catch any hint of oak. That's because anything. oak is not a flavor, okay. and you'll okay. never taste it in anything you drink unless you eat a bite of wood. Okay, well, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. Noted right here. <laughs> hey. It's not bad. It's on you the know. spicier side of things if you like a little bit more of a spicy, but not too spicy. I think it's a good mid-range. I mean, I can see why they've been in business since 1703. They know what they're doing. It's true. You know? It almost seems like it dries out a little bit when it goes into a pot. Seems a little drier in once it's mixed. Our name <laughs> honors the pioneering Sir John Gay, who perfected this distinctive Mount Gay style. In 1910, the twin phenomena of a total solar eclipse and the passage of Halley's Comet inspired the creation of Mount Gay's Eclipse. A golden amber blend of aged rums, eclipses perfectly balanced aromas and medium body, Get Mount Gay's signature style of crafting and blending pot still rums. Well Whoa. done. Nailed it. It's going to be right around $25. Right 20, around $20 to $25. $25. Boom. What a bargain. It is. For the for the oldest rum distillery rum out there. Yeah. And who doesn't love old rum? Right. Come on. Ready for some rating yep. action? Yep. All right, so we're going into the rating. We're going to get to the goods here, guys. Going into the bottling, scale of 1 to 10, Royer. 6. 6 out of 10. I agree, it's a 6 out of 10. As a shot, 1 out of 10. How's this rum rating for you, Royer? I'm going to go 7. 7 out of 10. Yep. I'm going to stick with the 6 out of 10. Uh, I think it's okay. It's it's a little bit better than... It's it's not bad. It's good. Um, it's in that good range. I mean, it's a shot. It's not something I would typically probably ask for, but if it was there, I would drink it. I wouldn't mind yep. it. So it's it's good. As a mixed drink, the moment you've been waiting for. The That's suspense right. is over. Drum roll, please. Seven. Seven out of ten. Same with the shot? Same as the shot. It didn't really, it didn't get any better. It didn't get any worse. It stayed about the same for me. 
I, that's fair. That's fair. You know, so, yeah, I'm going to go with 7. I will give it a 6.5. I Good. think it is slightly better than as a shot because it takes kind of the kick out of it a little bit. It does dry out a little bit, which I didn't like which is why I only gave it a half point raise. Uh, I think the flavor stays true and it's good, but the, and the spice was gone, which I liked, but it dried out and yep. you know, it was just kind of typical 6.5. So I got a fun fact for you. Fun fact. Ready? Fun. Go. Not only that, but it's a fun rum fact. Well, that's the best kind of fact. Right? Go. Right. Now. Hit him. So at George Washington's inauguration, he actually required a bottle or not a bottle, excuse me, a barrel of Barbados, Barbados rum to be president. I knew George Washington was huh? my favorite president right? for a reason. I, mean, I was sure of it, that there was a good reason I think for that. he knew what he was doing. You know, Taft was there for a minute. <laughs> Taft. Does <laughs> any guy living that kind of lifestyle okay in my book? But George Washington knows his rum. I like it. You guys really hung on. If you're at the end of this video, you made it to the Thank goods. You. Thank you. You made you. it to the goods. That's right. Hit him. Okay. Go. So, Back in the day of elections, they they would actually give away rum. The candidates would actually give away rum. What happened to that tradition? I know, right? I, that's what I was thinking I as I was reading person. this. I was like, hello, that's a good idea. Yep, that politician right? got my vote. <laughs> and so what they would do is is the, the candidates would be giving away rum, and whoever gave away the most rum would have a better chance Royer, of winning that election. This is it. We're There we go. You're running for president. Here we go. Royer for president, <laughs> and he will supply the rum. That's right. Here we go. We're on. <laughs> that is Mount Gay Eclipse. Make sure to check your local liquor stores. Check them out online and find yourself a bottle. This is definitely an interesting flavor that I think you guys should definitely check out and give a try. If you like what we did and you think that you're now going to go buy some rum just because you're thirsty, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We'd love to have you there, but subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It means so much to us every time you guys subscribe. We, like, literally throw a party every time you do. I have a little gazoo that I just <laughs> literally just blow into every single time. And it's true fact. So I'm super excited when you guys subscribe. So please do. Royer, get them home safely. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums were harmed during the making of this video right Absolutely here. not. We'll see you later, guys. I could have been a scientist, an astronaut. Hmm. An astronaut scientist, <laughs> but I decided to do this. Well, there you go, and I'm privileged to have you here. Damn right you are. <laughs>